guys, today we're going to talk about one dimensional motion. We're going to stay horizontal, which will be the x direction for us. And what we're going to talk about one dimensional motion today is acceleration, or more specifically, constant acceleration. Now, constant acceleration just means that when we are driving our car and step on the accelerator or the gas, we will begin to speed up. Acceleration, get rid of this. Acceleration is defined as how we change our velocity with respect to time. Are we speeding up? Are we going faster every second? Or are we going slower? Now, when we say there's constant acceleration, it just means that when we step on the gas, it's going to go at the same rate. We're not going to shift gears uh, or downshift for those that are drivers to go faster. We're not going to hit the nitrous or have some sort of boosting capability or turbo kick in. Once we step on the gas, it'll accelerate or change our velocity with respect to time at a constant rate. So when we do that, we have these three equations that we can use. And lastly, First one, final velocity equals initial velocity plus AT. Second one is final velocity squared equals initial velocity squared plus 2A delta X. That's the distance. And then delta X, or the distance traveled, is the initial velocity times time plus the product of half times acceleration times T squared. Now, the book uses V naught or V sub zero as the initial or starting. I know it might be easier to use V1 or VI for V initial, but they use VO meaning uh, where time equals zero to start. So we're going to have those three equations to work with. Put a little box around them here if I can get it to work. And uh, we're going to use those. So let's say for our example today, we have a car that can go from zero to 20 meters per second in uh, four seconds. Uh, it's a little over 40 miles an hour. That's not a big deal. Um, not super fast, we're not talking Bugatti, but it's probably a generic car. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi. We've gone up to 44 miles an hour, say, on an on-ramp. So what we have to do is pull out of here what our values are, make this math word problem into just a problem. We're starting out at zero. Initial velocity, our final, is reaching 20 meters per second. Our acceleration, we don't know. The time is four seconds, and also how far we went. We don't know that either. So what we need to do is use one of these equations over here that allows us to determine the acceleration and distance, but not at the same time. Because if we have two unknowns, we need two equations. So let's start out by looking at acceleration. We want to find an equation that has acceleration as the only unknown, meaning the only thing we don't know. So if I start out with the first equation, Acceleration is what I don't know. I do know everything else. I know final velocity. I know initial velocity. I know time. So I'm going to just substitute in here. My final velocity is 20 equals my initial velocity is 0 plus A, which we don't know, times time, which is 4. Now I'm just leaving the units out just to make it a little cleaner in this solution. Uh, but you can see that. If we go through and solve that math, we're going to get 20 minus 0. See if I can get this here. Yep. I'm not sure what I did here. Get 20 minus 0 divided by 4 equals A. A equals 5 meters per second squared. And there's our answer. So that's fine acceleration. Now it is a positive value. We don't write the positive, but it is a positive value. We expect that. Why? Because we are speeding up. We're going from 0 to 20. We're going faster. That means we press the accelerator or the gas and that would be a plus 5. So that's just a quick example of find the acceleration. Uh, what I'll do in the next video is just show us how we can find out the distance traveled during that speed up time. Hope you enjoyed that and we'll see you in the next one.